and welcome back to 34 diagrams drawn for you in 34 days. We're on day 32. We're looking at the positive externalities of consumption. We're going to draw cost benefit on our y axes. We're going to draw quantity on our x axes. We're going to draw supply to the sky, except instead of calling it supply, we're going to call it the marginal private costs. We're going to draw demand down, but instead of calling it demand, we're going to call it marginal private benefits. Now, we're thinking about the positive externalities of consumption. So, an example of that would be vaccinations. If everyone consumed vaccines based on their own private costs and their own private benefits, they would consume at QFM. But we know vaccinations create herd immunity, which means that people who are immune compromised, who might not be able to take the vaccine, are then protected because the people around them are much less likely to become infectious. So the social benefit is greater than the private benefit. There is a benefit to the third party, our immune compromised friend, for us getting vaccinated. And so there is this positive externality to a third party. We are assuming that there are no negative externalities of production and so we're going to say MPC is equal to marginal social cost. The socially optimal quantity is determined by the social cost equaling the social benefit. And so that would be where these two lines intersect. We're going to label that QSO. And so we can see that there is this much benefit. We are going to underconsume vaccines if it was left to the free market. The dead weight loss is this area, A, B, C. We want to increase the consumption of vaccines from QFM up to QSO to absorb all of that net welfare gain that has been left on the table. 